Hi everyone, it's Natalie here, back with another message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today. We're going to be tapping in to see what Spirit needs us to know right now in the highest vibration. Hope everyone is doing well. Let's see what is going on with the energy right now today. Crystals, achievement. We have key opportunity. Rainbow, hope. And glow, possibility. All right, somebody's going places. You guys could be going places, trying new things. Yes, yeah, surrender, reflection, caution, and reverse with relationships. I feel like there's going to be something here, but like, don't, don't sit there and ask for other people's help. I feel like you already got what you need to, you already got what you need here. But Crystal's achievement here is a crystal that has taken a long time to uh, form. So it's like you, you have your own achievement, your own success here. You know where you're going. It's like something here is built from the ground up. So you're receiving an opportunity or you're ready for an opportunity. Um, this is something that you have been manifesting. Okay. It's very possible. The doors are open for you right now is what I'm seeing. Clarify Crystal's achievement. Crystal's achievement. Crystal's achievement. Love. I commit to the practicing good in all things. This could actually be about a love situation. Or your success and your achievement is built off of love. So you have nothing to worry about. Clarify. Yeah, we have abundance here. Clarify key opportunity. Happiness. Guilt wanted to come out. Humor, envy, and empathy. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm getting here. Um, you have a lot of people like snickering. <laughs> They're snickering at you. Is what I'm seeing here. You may have. It might not be a lot of people, but. You got some energy snickering at you, okay? Uh, I'm hearing the word corny. <laughs> They're trying to say that your um, your success is corny or your love is corny or something like that. They're trying to say that. I, I don't know why I just heard that, but I'm, I'm hearing it. They're trying to say something here is corny. Okay, glow possibility. But I feel like they're just haters, okay? Because they don't have what you have. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Yeah. Okay, rainbow hope. rainbow hope yeah someone's trying to say you guys are corny i love myself and i see myself and everyone there could also be a relationship coming together i feel like you're attracting partnerships or something yeah you're not worried you trust the universe someone is mad at you because you're in this energy but they're not in this energy they're they will never be you so of course they're going to say that you're corny okay you commit to the path of seeing good in all things I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Whatever opportunity that you're getting, you're going to be happy about it. And you have to like drown out the noise because there's going to be a lot of noise. People are going to try to control you, control you from um, traveling or something. But no, you can't let them do that. Accident, danger, caution, injury, sweetheart, pure, unconditional love, beloved. This is something about love out here. Maybe it's the way that you love. I don't know what this accident is about. We're going to have to see. Oh, wow, marriage. Okay. Sweet love, couple, dependency. I feel like you guys are going to be pairing together, pairing up with somebody here. Look, natural disaster in the reverse. Then we have care here. This is a really good energy so far. Somebody, yeah, we got friendship, fate in the verse, confinement in the verse, memory in the verse, origin. Someone didn't want two people to come together. There's like marriage on the line here though. Natural disaster is in the reverse though. You're not frustrated. You're not trying to survive. You actually have a lot of support here or you're going to be getting some sort of support here. 
I'm also getting like if okay you may have a partner that like got into an accident or something you're taking care of them or something this person sees you as marriage material they feel like they can like trust you with their life they feel like like there's, there would be no disaster with you I'm picking a lot I'm picking up like an easygoing marriage or easygoing relationship and I've, I'm, I've automatically felt the projections like, oh, that's corny. Or like, you got people in the background saying that's corny. <laughs> or they're going to try to say that it's corny or something like that. Like, what? I don't understand. What's so corny about being a good person? Like a sweetheart. You unconditionally love somebody and they unconditionally love you. So what the heck is so corny about that? Probably because they don't have that. They won't have that ever. You could be like traveling the world with this person too. There's a lot of love here. Someone actually sees you as someone that like they could have a child with or you already have a child with this person or they're, you could be pregnant, okay? Maybe you guys got pregnant on an accident. I don't know what this accident card is about, but yeah. Maybe someone accident. Wow, who is this Queen of Wands in reverse? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Five of Swords. This person is jealous. This is the one that's talking crap. Someone may have accidentally lost this person because they weren't an unconditional lover or something like that. Yeah, they're stuck. So this is that person that's mad because they don't have love in their life or they're jealous or this is like homewrecker energy. This person is extremely jealous. Yeah, they're running around slandering somebody or they rushed and slandered somebody. This person is really mean. They try to do whatever it takes to try to like block a connection with somebody. Someone has like, you're very compatible with somebody. And you want to know something I, I've read? <clears throat> Just because Google said you guys aren't compatible, that that's not the truth. Um... It, it, it all depends on like, like astrology is very important, but where you grow up, how you grow up, um, is very important. Also, uh, it's like, I feel like you're best friends with somebody, but you guys are, may have like conflicting charts or something. Okay. Seven of cups is in reverse. There's no more illusions about this relationship. Okay. We have the four of cups here with the two of swords. Someone is trying to dig deep into your relationship or your life, trying to get into your business, and they're not getting anything. They're not getting anything about the relationship. It's like they're expecting an accident. They're expecting a natural disaster, but it's not going to happen. You have the hangman here. Yeah, she's like just sitting there expecting something to go wrong in a relationship. You might not even be together with this person yet, but for some reason they feel like... <clears throat> they can cause turmoil or stress or something out here with you guys. Yeah, they're stuck. Whoever this person is, they're stuck. They're stuck in an old mindset. This person is trying to cause conflict right now, but it's not working. It's like they're sending out the conflict and it's like not touching you or it's not touching the masculine. Okay, so we have the chariot here. Yeah, what is... I'm hearing you guys don't see the hate or they don't see the hate. It's being sent right back to them. Someone is getting sick off of this. Someone is like not resting right now. They're not sleeping. They're not resting. It's like a lot is going on right now. Someone may have actual actually had an injury. It's like the ancestors made this person get into an accident or something because they're too focused on trying to break up a marriage or they're trying to like hurt a sweet person or something. Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? This person's mean. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They have nothing going on. They're a damsel in distress. Well, not really, because damsel in distress is. It's like they're very. Uh, they cannot take care of themselves. It's like they're very codependent on relationships. They're. They're not helpful. They're not on their own. They're not independent. They're very needy. And this is why they do this, because they need energy. Yeah, Nine of Swords are really stressed about their life. This is someone's ex here. They're worried about a marriage coming together. They're worried about uh, uh, someone getting someone pregnant. 
They're worried about, uh, this is what they're really worried about. They're worried about someone getting someone pregnant in marriage. So they're stressed out. They're trying to find what they're like, they're literally going to try to do everything they can to stop it, but it's not going to work. Someone is still moving forward. Clarify the five of swords. Yeah. The king of swords. This, this king of swords energy is mean too. <laughs> this king of swords energy is mean too. And they're going to like, they're cold. They're cut off. They're not going to, they're not happy in the situation. So they're not going to force it to work. You want to know what I'm getting for this? I feel like this karmic energy accidentally misjudged you or misjudged the situation. Maybe they've done this before to this masculine, like, oh, they're not going to be for you. This, this, and that. And it actually worked. Well, it's not working anymore. There's something here about marriage. It's like this masculine is actually really thinking about marriage and they're not playing any games. Clarify the three of wands. Yeah, ace of wands here. They've had the Ace of Wands with Three of Wands. It's like they're expecting a lot. It's like they have a lot of things that they're manifesting right now. I feel like they're manifesting ex like one thing though. And they're going to get it. We have the tower here. It's going to cause a lot of towers for most people. I'm also getting like, there's an energy out here that like they think that they know everything, but they don't. Seven of Swords with the um, Devil. Wow. Someone likes to create shortcuts to get things done or to get a, or to sabotage somebody's plans. It's not going to work. They, like they're, they're going to try to cause a tower. The King of Wands versus the Empress. I'm also getting like, there could be a, <sighs> there's karmics on both sides. There's definitely karmics on both sides. I feel like both your guys' exes are saying that you guys are corny. I'm not even going to lie. Like, that's exactly what they're trying to say. But that doesn't change anything. Clarify the four of cups. The six of pentacles. Why the six of pentacles with the four of cups? Justice. Someone getting what they deserve. So if you have a karmic masculine in your energy, they just hate that they couldn't give you what you deserved and someone else is giving it to you. Same thing with this karmic uh, feminine. They weren't giving this person unconditional love. They were putting like rules on them and stuff like that. They weren't accepting them for who they were. And you're giving them what they truly deserve. So it's like something here is being balanced. Something here is even. It's like spirit guides are saying, no, this is right. This is, this is supposed to be the way it is. But there's negative energies around trying to say that it's fake or it's false, it's corny, it's not real. But it's only because these people are failing in life or they're not able to support themselves. Someone like uh, doesn't have their own, like someone, I'm hearing like a female is homeless or something like that. Like someone is like sleeping on someone's couch or something right now. I'm also getting someone got pregnant on accident. So someone could be pregnant and sleeping on someone's couch. But it might not even be the masculine's baby. That's wor That's the that's the worst part about this. It's like this uh, female. She's stuck with a baby in her stomach that's not hers, or I mean, not this masculine's baby. And this masculine's gonna get married somewhere else. Clarify the two of swords. Yeah, we have the page of swords with the fool. Five of Pentacles. There's a lot of energies right now watching you guys. Watching you and this masculine here. I, I was picking up early when I got my coffee today. I felt like I was being watched, but it didn't feel like a monitoring spirit. It felt like a um like an angel watching me, like uh, like I felt protected. It's like someone is watching out for you, looking out for you. Or some, or this could be the masculine looking out for you or something. Or you're looking out for the masculine. I feel like you watch my back, I watch your back type of energy is here. This is why the love is so conditional, like so unconditional. Clarify the hangman. Five of pentacles. Yeah, someone is stuck in delays right now. Suffering. Ten of Cups in a reverse. Some dysfunctional family or if this is not a dysfunctional family, this is someone here who got, they ran off and they got pregnant, guys. This is very specific, but I know what this is saying. 
Someone ran off, they got pregnant, and now they're sleeping on someone's couch. They're not happy. They're looking for, for this masculine to take care of them. Yeah, this masculine walked away from them. They're like, that's not my baby. Hierophant in the reverse. Three of cups in the reverse. Four swords. They're also tired of this this uh, fe this karmic feminine's fake friends, too. I don't want to deal with you or your friends. So usually this is a masculine who... They like to be around feminines that have a lot of friends. Or they like to be around feminines that... Uh, you know, like, you can connect me with, like, you guys got connects. Oh, you need this done? I, got, I know somebody. You got you need this done? I know somebody. Or you want to go to a party? I know somebody. They like feminines like that. But there's something about this person's friends. There's something about this person's group of people. It's like there's a whole community out here failing. Okay. And this masculine doesn't want to be a part of this community. So let's have the Ace of Swords in reverse. High Priestess in the reverse, Five of Cups. I don't know if this person is trying to get readings with the High Priestess in the reverse, but, or if they are a uh, High Priestess in the reverse themselves, but they're wrong. It's like they're trying to predict something. They're in denial. They're also in denial about their own secrets coming out. Like they feel like someone doesn't see them or notice them or know what they're trying to do here. Like the masculine sees them. They feel like they can cover up their secrets. They cannot cover up their secrets. They're out in the open and someone's in denial about that. So now they're in loss. They're in the five of cups right now because they feel like their their secrets are all out. But at the same time, they're in denial. They got something here going on mentally with them in their lifestyle. It's like they feel like they're above everybody for some weird reason. But that's only because they have a bunch of friends telling them that. I think I tapped into this before. Five of Wands in the reverse. Like, no one's telling them that they're the ones that are corny. So they're trying to say, oh, the masculine is going on to his new corny partner. And no, nobody in this person's friends group is saying, no, actually, you're the one that's corny because you're the one that got pregnant by someone else. and Or you're the one that started a whole new life somewhere else. And now you're mad that the masculine is moving on for sure. Five of Wands in the reverse. Like, no one's telling them this. Maybe they're afraid of this person. We got the Seven of Cups here. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they cannot move on from this illusion here. They want to keep the illusion going. It's all they know. Knight of Wands in reverse with the World and the Six of Swords. Seven of Wands in reverse. Star in the reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. This karmic feminine will always have people that celebrate them. That's very dangerous. Like, they, they will always have low vibrational people celebrating them that don't know what the heck is going on. That's very, very dangerous. And, like, this masculine sees it. They, this masculine knows that it's very dangerous to have friends like that that don't tell you when you're wrong. This is why the, uh, the relationship never really worked out because no one is telling this person that they're wrong. They, they all want to say, oh, no, the masculine's wrong, the masculine's wrong. But they're never saying that the karmic feminine is wrong, ever. That's very dangerous because this person could like literally be in jail and everybody would be cheering them on. Like, no, this person has problems, but they cannot move on from this illusion. Even after they try to cause conflict. Clarify the Ten of Swords. So this is an ending. Something here is ending and there's nothing they can do about it. You have the Moon card here with the Death card. It's the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands in reverse. Someone is ending something quietly, but it's happening. Something is going on behind the scenes. It's just happening. Like, clarify the moon and the death card. It's hidden, but it, it's 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 a big change happening behind the scenes. Moon and the death card. Yeah, behind the scenes, this person is planning. They're moving on somewhere else. They might not be saying much or saying anything to you, but I feel like their their actions. Something here with the actions here, the planning, the attention, the attention is going elsewhere. So it's like this karmic feminine knows that like they're being left behind. Chariot is the outcome. Yeah, 10 of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Wow, this person is very serious about working on a legacy. This person is also very focused on work right now. So if they're not paying attention to you, this is why. I feel like this is an energy where like this person is not focused on anyone but you. But 
because of how serious they are. See, a lot of you may um, be traumatized by people from your past, right? And you feel like if someone isn't paying attention to you, they don't like you, they're cheating, they're doing this, they're doing this, they're doing that. No, there's an energy out here that's really only focused on money, which could be toxic in some sort of ways, but because you might be the type of feminine that doesn't care about someone's money, but do you want someone that's not focused on their money also? So it's like the the divine feminine maybe has had uh, males in, in her life that... Uh, asked her for money all the time this masculine is different he's not going to ask you for nothing he's going to get everything on his own out of the mud so he might be very um yeah i was just talking about that you had a bum around you or something so he might be very different you might see it as different you might have anxiety over it you might feel like this person is not interested in you but they are we have the judgment and the page of cups here they're just focused on their finances right now um, what do I want to pull? How much time we got? 21, 12 on the clock. All right. So yeah, like I said, I feel like there's something here going on with like, they're sure about what they want. And this karmic feminine is sure that she's getting left. I hear someone got pregnant on accident. But if it was reversed and he got someone else pregnant, would she accept him? No, 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 no. We have lighten up and pivot. Yeah, you're being asked to remember that life doesn't always have to be so serious. Yes, there are hard things happening. No, it's not always easy to be here on earth, but you can always find time to laugh, be silly, have fun. It's so important that you do so. This person sees you as someone that's very um, lighthearted and funny and humorous. Okay. Sometimes when things aren't falling into place after trying and trying, it's time to ask yourself if pivoting in some way would be a good idea so that your life can flow more easily and effortlessly. How could you pivot even just a little bit? So I feel like this person's um, energy is like directed away from you right now because they're trying to get something to work. We have protect. I feel like also they are pivoting their energy away from this karmic. They're not even paying attention to them. Check in. What do you... When you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier, excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's always so helpful. Yeah, uh, pay attention to energy. Sometimes it's not your energy. It's just karmic's energy. Yeah, this is one of those people that you just... This is one of those masculines. Yep, have faith. It's one of those masculines that like... They... They don't tell people what they're doing. They don't really communicate what they're doing. Which kind of, which can kind of be toxic, but this person is not betraying you. I don't feel like this person is betraying you. They're trying to uh, tie up loose ends and just focus. Yeah, they're trying to focus right now. So just, it's way more mature than your past lovers. I will say that. We have worth here and align. Yeah, they're trying to focus so that they can align with you because they see you as someone worth aligning with okay i'm gonna see what this person has to say and then i'm out of here might do another reading later hmm what does this person have to say to the collective What does this person have to say to the collective? Yeah, I feel like people are projecting this disaster onto you guys and it's not working. It can't work. It's like you guys are supposed to be together. And a lot of times, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but opposites attract. So if you guys feel like you won't be compatible based off of what you're seeing on the internet and things of that such, it's not always true. A lot of factors have to play, you know, put play in effect sometimes. Maybe in, the be maybe in the beginning or like when this person was younger, of course they wouldn't have been your match because they were younger. But now I feel like this person is growing up or they're becoming more mature when it comes to something. And it's like they're your match now or they're aligning with you. Look, you are my wish fulfillment and I want you only. I just said that. I just said that, yeah, I wish I would treat you better. So right now this person may, they have dreams of giving you what you deserve here. They have dreams of treating you better. I told you, they're not focused on anyone but you and their work right now. I always knew there was something different about you. 
please don't feel disappointed with me. See what I mean? I feel like this person's energy is, is going somewhere else. They might not even be talking to you right now, but they're really either stressed out with work or they're trying to cover up something that they don't want you to know when it comes to like their, yeah, deep down my intentions with you have always been pure. It's like something about their life. They're not really open about everything about their life. And you feel like they should be open with you if they want to marry you. But it's like, it's that's just not them. That's not what they do. Yeah, I crave to be close to your side. I'm so proud of who you become. So there's something about like the who you are. It's like they, they admire it. I've been working on my self-love and my self-worth. Yeah, they're trying to work on themselves. Without you in my life, I feel lost. So it's kind of like they're using you as a blueprint right now to get aligned with you. Yeah, this person wants you to know, uh, they don't want you to feel disappointed with them. There's just some things that they have to do. Um, with the, I wish I would treat you better. It's like, they know that, they know that you're um, stressed out right now because you're not talking to them. They know this, they can feel it. Um, I'm showing you your wounds and things you need to work on. I sometimes struggle to express my feelings for you. See, it's like this person is not really the person to like express a lot. They'll tell you things to like make it clear sometimes, but other times. Also be careful with this person saying to you, what they're saying to you is not a lie. They're not lying to you. If they say that you're the only person they talk to, they're not lying. Um, they're telling the truth. Like I said before, it's like you are surrounded by bums your whole life. You finally run into someone that's actually worthwhile. And it's like you're not really, it's either you don't trust them or I don't know. It's kind of like uh, this person shows you your wounds. This person shows you what you need to fix also. But I'm also getting like you're showing them what they need to be fixing about themselves, okay? So this is pretty, this was like a load, a lot of information here about this love situation, but someone is very focused on their life. And I feel like you need to be focused too, so that you guys can align and come back together. If this is who you're thinking about, if this is like, this is a high vibrational situation here with nothing but love, love is all over it. Okay. Then you got crazy people behind the scenes. Okay. So just, you know. Take things lightly. Don't take things so seriously when this person like focuses on their own life or something. It's not, it's something here is just not that serious. It's like they, they see you as marriage material. Definitely. They're not playing no games. Like even, like, they see you as a good parent too. Everything that you think that you're not, they think that you are. Okay. So it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of like bringing up your wounds too. Cause you feel like since you were with so-and-so that said that you weren't this this or that you feel like it's true that's not true someone here sees you as the exact opposite of whatever you feel about yourself okay so this your guys is reading hope this resonated for you if it did go ahead and like subscribe share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos i'll see you next time thank you bye